You having fun videoing today? Oh yeah. Hot, sweaty yeah. day. At least it's not so dusty as it was yesterday. You I hear that good rain. Did good oh yeah, it's good footage. I'm behind the camera all the time. This episode of Rock Rods, we're making rock bouncing great again. All right, folks, have we got a show for you this time because we're in one of our favorite places, Hawk Pride Off Road Park in Tuscumbia, Alabama. And we like this place because it actually has rocks for rock racing. So, Hill One, pretty much a warm up, Hill Two. I don't know if anybody's gonna make it. It might turn into a bounty hill because it's nasty. Ready to do some racing, baby? Hey, everybody, right here. We're down here in Tecumbia. Is that you say? Tuscumbia. Tuscumbia, Tuscumbia, Alabama. We're gonna do some racing. We're at Hawk Pride. Hawk Pride. It's gonna be gnarly today. We're, first course, you know, it looks like a trail ride. There ain't no trail ride. Second course, we got some gnarly off camber rocks. It's gonna be some good action, I promise you. Good weather, hopefully the weather holds out. It's supposed to be a little sprinkling. That, that could always make things interesting, but keep watching, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Boy, it's uh, it sure changed up last night with this rain coming in. I'd say it's gonna be a little slick down there, but we're gonna we're gonna hang on and see what she'll do. All right, we had to do a little motor work the last few weeks, so yeah, we're, a, out. we're a whole new powertrain, uh, new motor, transmission, uh, re-geared the transfer case, re-geared the axle, so it's, uh, it's gonna be a whole different animal. All right, good luck today. Thank you, sir. Hey, well, Jay, what about it, Jay? Ready to go hit some hills. See, you got, got some shots on. See what happens. All right, good luck today, sir. Thank you. I think this rock's gonna decide hill one. He's talking about this rock right here, folks. It's roughly about six foot tall. Tapers off to one side. Y'all gotta come in here and do a, basically a 180 turn on it. Yeah, Austin Powers turn. Back to it, back to it. <laughs> or one shot it right here, maybe. What do you think about hill two? I don't know, I ain't got there yet. It don't look fun, though. <laughs> Home too, ain't gonna be no dust. Yeah, that makes it really nice for today. Yeah. Uh, got good suspension out of the buggy. You gonna go uh, at a side angle on the hill too? Oh, most definitely. All right. Long way you gonna win it. Good luck today. All right, y'all have a good one.
man, yesterday we was looking at these hills and oh, so dusty. It was uh, it, tired of the dust. You know, the beginning of the season we're tired of the mud, and and now we're we're getting tired of the dust. Uh, got a heck of a rainstorm last night. Um, it really uh, put some moisture down. I think these hills are going to be awesome today. Um, you know, Hawk Pride never disappoints. There's always some big rock ledges and, and uh, usually some pretty awesome uh, carnage, <laughs> if carnage can be awesome. Uh, you know, we're, uh, we strapped on the 46-inch the USD stickies. This will be our second race. We're going to try them out on the rocks and uh, new transmission setup, new torque converter. Uh, we're excited. I'm ready to go. I, these hills look absolutely awesome. They look they're, like they're made for a busted knuckle off-road chassis, and uh, there's two busted knuckle off-road chassis here, and I, I suspect one of us is going to be, or both of us, going to be real close to the top today. So uh, this, is, uh, this is definitely one you're not going to want to miss.
how did it feel driving that uh, rental for the day? It's definitely different than anything I've ever been used to. Well, was it like the shirt? Yeah, yeah. We're, make, we're making Rock Bouncing great again. <laughs> Had to run first, unfortunately, on, the, on that first hill, so a little wet. That's my excuse anyway. That's why Bree beat me. <laughs> So bad. Oh, she did beat she you, did. didn't she? She got, a 29, she got a 29, wherever. That puts her up pretty high. Ooh. Or pretty low, yeah. Hmm. So. What do you think about the second hill? Um, I'm a little scared, but don't tell anybody. <laughs> it's kind of nasty. Yeah, it's nasty. But um, hopefully I won't have to be first this time. I can watch some guys and gals go up and see where they pick a line, you know, and then I'll decide what works. You know, we made it out the top and the buggy felt uh, felt really good you know kind of wild on the hill but that was all me and um, we're uh, we're ready to go for hill two it's gonna be this is this is gonna be a big boy hill here man there's some big ledges and, and uh, this guy here is probably gonna show us how it's done what about it Dana uh, maybe uh, <laughs> first hill definitely a rear steer hill but we had a good pass two backups kept it together laid down a decent time uh, you guys and you're complaining about that rear steer well, it's funny you're not complaining because you got it. Oh! <laughs> uh, this hill right here is going to be it's gonna be a lot of luck and sack, a lot of sack. <laughs> um, and just some lucky bounces. I mean, it's going to take finesse, but it's, it's doable, I think, for sure. All right, folks, for what Danny's talking about, this is the ledge, and there is several of them ledges and they're and they're going to sidetrack this hill and go out that gap so we've got a bunch of jeep events coming up i've actually got three jeep events coming up and so we have the jeep in here in the shop doing some work to it trying to get it ready for all these events and uh i've got a little bit of an exhaust leak so this little collector right right up there those things tend to uh rust up a little bit and we're going to spray it with some wd-40 specialist rust release penetrant spray thing all sprayed sprayed and soaked and hopefully we can tighten these things back up and make it stop leaking because i really don't want to mess with the exhaust on this jeep boom
for the last six months for this moment, Matt absolutely just put everything on the line and climbed one of the hills that half the pack, more than half the pack couldn't get up. This thing right here performed exactly the way we wanted it to, climbed the hill, did exactly what happened, and we got a guy on the podium. So if you want to be on the podium, you need a busted knuckle rig. Uh, it wasn't a very good day for me. I, know I wanted to try to put on a pretty good show today, but sort of way down in the pack. Every, every time I'd pick a line, it'd be somebody dig it out and be gone. So whenever I went, out, went on the second hill, I just hit the what I thought I could do. I, I knew I couldn't do it, but I just thought I'd try it, just put on a little show. You know, and I had fun, had a great time. It was a good All day. Right. Why do you get so close to me? <laughs> I gotta zoom in. Hey, do I look beautiful? Why the mic's gotta pick you up? Hey, you was the first one to climb that hill. Yes, sir. Showed the line today. I did. It's a little wet, moved a couple rocks, and started drying out and getting easier, but it's part of it. Luck of the draw. Yeah. But I'm glad to climb it. You spotted a lot of people, and you got up there and nobody made it, and then you went up there and said, I can do it by myself, no watch money. this. Yeah, yeah, John Allen helped me. Uh, I was hung on a rock one time, and he guided me back and got me off of it, and then after that, I kind of quit paying attention and just did my own thing, and it paid off, and we made the climb. Well, congratulations on uh, being the first one to climb at today. So Thank you, sir. We'll see you next time. All right, y'all too. Now that right there, folks, is what I call rock racing. And big congrats to Lil Tim Bacon. He takes first today, Brand Davis second, and then Matt Schusler in that brand new Bust Knuckle Off-Road Built Buggy takes third. We couldn't be happier. I mean, I can't believe he just came out with hardly any seat time and takes third for the day. That buggy is a beast. We had Shane break a few things. He broke a drive shaft and a uh, sway bar link, but 46s landing on the drive shaft. All that horsepower, something's gonna give. So that's okay, we're gonna fix it up, get him ready to go for the next race with something a little bit stronger. And uh, yeah, if you guys wanna watch some older episodes of Rock Rods, they are all over here. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and ring the bell. And as always, thanks for watching.